Hi, in this uh, brief video presentation, I'll take you through the fundamentals of magnetic lines of force. We start with a bar magnet, which is a rectangular piece, which gets divided into two halves. One end is a north pole and the other end is a south pole. The red color is a general nomenclature for the north pole and the blue color is a general nomenclature for the south pole. The magnetic fields or the lines of force are of course invisible in real life but here they are shown in yellow color just to accentuate the way they are arranged. These lines of force are like tubes of force and always start from the north end and go into the south end. They curve into the south end as you can see in this sketch. If we walk around a bar magnet, we will notice that the lines of force that are actually invisible are distributed all around the magnet. They are not just in the plane of the paper or in the plane of the screen. They are 360 degrees distributed around the center line that goes through the length of the bar magnet. This is a side view and we are looking through the center line of the bar magnet and a few angles of the fields are shown and of course the fields and the lines of force are all around the 360 degrees and not just in the four angles that are shown here. It's just a figurative way. So if we look at the implication of this magnetic field, if you were to throw some iron filings on a table and then place a magnet on top of the iron filings, the iron filings will adjust themselves, will readjust themselves along the shape of these lines of force that you see on the screen. That shows that the magnet exerts a force on the iron filings and we'll come back to that later in another video. It's now pertinent to talk about the fact that we ourselves and all of us are under the influence of the Earth's magnetic field which is huge it is going through all of us, the lines of force of the Earth's magnetic field are passing through us. And what you see in this beautiful picture is a white colored dotted line, which is the axis of rotation. The Earth rotates around the white dotted line. However, the magnetic field of the Earth is inclined to it. So, if the axis of rotation of the Earth, the white dotted line is 23.4 four degrees with respect to a vertical line then the magnetic axis which is a north-south in this picture is about 11.5 degrees offset from the vertical dotted line. The north-south axis of the earth does shift over millions of years but for a long period of time, it stays constant. The importance of this north-south axis is huge and the compass that we hold always points to the Earth's north, not to the geographical north. Planes used to use the Earth's north-south for navigation. Aircraft use it for navigation as well. Birds use their internal sensory organs to fly in the right direction, taking reference from the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is also extremely important to protect all of us, to protect the whole Earth from the solar wind that comes out of the sun at a blistering pace of 400 kilometers per second. That solar wind gets deflected by the Earth's magnetic field and goes elsewhere just as a boat going through water deflects the water around the boat and that's one of the great functions of the earth's magnetic field so in a sense coming to a bar magnet the earth behaves as if there is a huge bar magnet inside the earth and uh, we will go into details of this in a later presentation thank you very much and have a great day